Hello. Today we are going to demonstrate a practical in power system that's the practical on string uh, insulators. Actually, this practical deals with the transmission of electrical energy. Basically, when we generate electrical energy uh, in any type of generating station, then what we do? We transfer that electrical energy at a particular le voltage level. That means during the transmission, uh, we use different power structures. Right, and depending upon the level of insulation, depending upon the operating voltage, and accordingly, we choose the level of insulation. Actually, the number of insulators, this how uh, many discs which we require in the given transmission system, that will depend upon the operating voltage. But uh, what actually <laughs> happens during the during this case, when we transmit a particular amount of voltage uh, in transmission system, then when we fix the number of insulators which we will require, then we will say, then we uh, uh, come to on a conclusion that the level of insulation is not getting the properly utilized right? you can say that the number of disks are not uh, getting uh, uniformly utilized right so the same uh, thing will be demonstrated here we have a, a small kit that will demonstrate the same results how we can check uh, in a given string uh, how we can check what is the efficiency of that string and then how we can improve the string efficiency of that string right so if we look into this setup which we have here you can see this is the basic circuit diagram that is actually uh, representing the given string right you can see instead of insulator disk which uh, we are actually having here a capacitor another capacitor another capacitor and another capacitor actually this is our string right? actually in practice uh, when we see in the transmission you might have seen these type of uh, suspension disks right what we actually do actually this one uh, disk actually stands for 11 kb voltage right the level of insulation we built in this that it can be up to 11 kb right right if we have a voltage of uh, line with respect to this task as a phase voltage say 33 kb then we have to use the discussing cascade right then after that we cascade these disks actually what then uh, what actually happening when we use another disk here right in between the two disks we have a metallic pin right that uh, um, uh, what actually happening in the capacitance here you can see it, suppose this is the one metallic pin this is another metallic pin this third metallic in between this have a insulator disc what actually happens is the capacitance exists between the two uh, metallic pins because in between we have this insulating material acts as a dielectric medium actually we call the, that capacitance as the main capacitance right right simultaneously what happens since this is uh, this uh, uh, disc, uh, the series of discs on the on the other side connected to the uh, this cross arm of the task structure. What actually happens? There exists another capacitance which we call earth capacitance. So you can see, actually, this is uh, actually representing the task structure, or you can see the cross arm. Right? What is actually happening? So two capacitances. Actually, we have two capacitances. The capacitance between the pin, pin to pin capacitance in between we have an insulator disc, right? Pin to pin, we have an insulating uh, material that's a disc acts as the dielectric medium that means is called the main capacitance. Another capacitance exists between the pin and the task structure. In between this, we have here as a dielectric medium. So we have two capacitances actually. This earth capacitance, right? These are modern C1, C1, C1. They are actually the earth capacitance that exists between the pin and the task structure. And this main capacitance exists between this pin and pin in between we have a disc. But actually, what happens because of this earth capacitance? Actually, if we have a power conductor which is actually placed here, right? So what actually happens uh, if we give an op some operating voltage across the string, right? We will sh uh, we will start this practical and during the practical we will uh, get the cons. Uh, you will get the clarity. First of all, I will show you what's actually inside, and we'll unlock this and see. Instead, these are the main capacitances. Right, and these are the earth capacitance, right? And this is the task structure modeling, and these are the main capacitance that exists between the pin, pin to pin capacitance, and this is between the pin and the task structure, right? And this thing I will uh, demonstrate actually these actually using we are using this gold wire to improve the string efficiency. I'll be demonstrating the same, right? So, so let's start uh, this practical. First, we will turn on the MCB, right? From this variable auto transformer, we will energize only the string, right? 
depending upon the operating voltage with which we will set up so we will say energize the string and we will measure the voltage with which voltage we are going to energize the string so let's measure this voltage kept it on vac and we will measure this voltage across the string right now the magnitude of voltage is seven i will increase it suppose i will set this voltage to 60 volts it's almost 60 60 now see you can see i have energized this voltage the string by 60 volt i uh, it actually means that the transmitting voltage which we are transferring this uh, uh, right now is 60 volts right so this 60 voltage actually the number of discs here are 1 2 3 and 4 that means 15 volt should reflect across this disc 15 volt across this ideally 15 volt across this 15 volt across this so if that case happens it means that the voltage is uniformly getting distributed but in practice what actually happens you can see the this disc actually which is nearer to the power conductor you can see suppose if this disc is designed for 15 volts you can see the voltage impressed across this disc is you can check, check that you can see 22 volts right you can see the voltage reflected by the ammeter that means instead of 15 volts what's actually happening 22 volt uh, are impressing across this disc if we check across the setting the second disc it's 15 it is exact the design voltage Right, if we check across the third disc, it's 11, that's below 50. If we check across the, and across the fourth disc, it's 9 volts. Right? It means, what's actually happening, the 60, vo vo 60 volts which we have applied across the string is not getting uniformly distributed, right? Since the disc is designed say, for, say, for 15 volts, we can see 22 volts are uh, impressed across this, but the design, the level of insulation in this is set according to 15 volts. What will happen? No tricks. Right. It may, it, uh, ins insulation may, failure may occur, it may get, dielectric, dielectric breakdown may occur. As a result of this, the in, uh, in the string, we can, uh, this disk can get damaged, right? So, what actually then we calculate, we actually calculate a parameter that's called string efficiency. That's uh, calculated by using the formula, the applied voltage, total voltage divided by the number of disks multiplied by the voltage across the bottom disk. Obviously, the voltage across the bottom disk is getting um, greater than 15 volts. That means the string efficiency uh, is inversely proportional to the voltage across this bottom disk. So it will uh, obviously will be very less. It will not, it will not be 100%. That means the if suppose if, if that comes out to be 60%, that means the level of insulation, 40% uh, of the insulation is getting unutilized, only 60% of the insulation is getting utilized. That's actually the measure of string efficiency. Now there are different methods how we can improve the string efficiency or in other words we can say how we can uniform try to uh, balance that voltage so that each disc voltage across each disc uh, uh, comes out to be almost the same so one of the disc uh, one of the method is actually we use a bordering in the bordering what actually we do we uh, actually the reason behind this is actually the leakage current which is flowing through to, towards this earth that's actually responsible for this mismatch of voltage or this un, uh, this uh, non-uniformity of this voltage basically at this node there becomes a path of leakage current right so some fraction of current goes to earth by this capacitor right only when it reaches at this node some uh, part of current goes to this uh, node similarly at this node the leakage current flows to earth as a result of which the voltage drop goes up decreasing as we approach towards the top of the conductor right now how to you know, get uh, how to uniform this voltage we make use of another capacitor that's what on the god wire capacitance we create another capacitance in, in that case, what we do, we, uh, we create a loop wire, wire that creates the capacitance that that capacitance actually injects the current in that node. It, it's, it, it, it has to supply that much of current that goes to the earth. That is exactly compensated that much of current. What we do, we'll switch off this MCB and we will connect this god wire. So, a simple way is we will connect this god wire from here to here. Then from here to here, and then from here to here. So what we have done actually, 
we have created another capacitor. We have charged another capacitor so that it exactly uh, exactly compensates that much of leakage current. Now what we will we will see? We will first energize the string by the same amount of voltage at 60 volt. We will first check. You can see almost 60 volt is impressing around the string. Now we will uh, again check the voltage across the strings. Now initially without this board where the voltage across that string was 22 volt. Now you can see the voltage across the string has reduced from 20 to 60. 0.69. That means the that means the stress which was initially without this bordering was higher. Now it has reduced 16 volt. That almost it's 15 volts. Across the second is you can see it's 13 volt. That means uh, the voltage across as oh, we approach towards the top will go on reducing. That means it will almost come about to be 15 volts, which actually we expect should expect that level of insulation uh, which we are using gets uniformly distributed. So right now if we check the string efficiency now initially it was 22 volts across the, this disk now it has reduced to 16 volts that means the string efficiency has improved from say 60 to 90 to 90 to 95 first so this was all about how what actually practically happens when we see this transmission and how we can improve the string efficiency thank you